Hi, welcome to another BandLab video. In this video I'm looking at creating chord progressions in a major key. Um, this is a, a great skill to be able to do in order to compose and create your own arrangements. Um, to do this particular uh, task you'll have to have an understanding of what notes are in your chords. Um, I've got a theory video that you're welcome to check out if you haven't studied chords in a major key. Um, so check that one out, there should have been a link pop up nearby. So let's get into this. So over here we're in the mixer, so this is our basic setup um, when we're starting a project in BandLab. So we're going to go into MIDI instruments. So here we go, by default we've got piano, we've got the letters of our um, keyboard on our piano diagram here. If you are weak with knowing your piano keys, a useful uh, tip would be to click on this pitch button and then you'll see the actual letters. So this will be useful um, in a little while in identifying what letters you've got to do. Um, the other thing I've got here is my MIDI controllers connected up. Um, so I'm going to show you two methods of inputting um, these particular MIDI um, chord progressions and that's to either use the mouse or actually play them in using a MIDI controller. So let's get into this one. To click these notes in, let's start with that. We're going to be using the MIDI editor. Okay. Now to work out these notes, um, in the theory video, I look at this particular diagram. And if you go check it out, it'll show you how to make a chord chart if you haven't done it before. So we're going to be putting in these different chords. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, following with the C uh, major. So, let's get into this. So the first chord we've got there is C major. So let's put those notes in. Now, if you're not good again with your keyboard diagram, the C is on the left of the two black keys. So over here, we've got C on the left of the two black keys, although this has sort of gone vertical with this diagram here. Now, the next thing we've got to do is click the pencil icon. And you'll notice that we've got some light grey and some black horizontal lines. Now these match up with the white keys being the lighter colour, the black keys being the darker colour there. So let's put in our C note. And let's just shift it down. And now at the moment we've got that going for a very short length. For our purpose I'm going to make these go for the full bar. And there we go. So that's the equivalent of our semi brief or whole note. The next note we need in this diagram is the E. So let's put the E in. So C, D, E. Then the next note will be the G note. And then we've got our C chord. So let's have a listen to this. There we go. So now we want to be able to work out the other chords. So back to our diagram, we've got our D minor. We need D, F and A. So let's click those in. We've got E minor next. Then we've got F major. G major. Uh, it was A minor. B minor. Finishing with C major. Okay, so now we've got all of our chords in here. So let's move that diagram out of the way. There we go. Now you can see we've got all of those chords here. The next step is we want to be able to use this and move them around and create different chord progressions from all of these. So the next step would be is with our cursor here, if we select right now where the two is, there's a faint line under there. So I'm clicking right in there and then come up to our slice tool. Okay, so now I've broken that up and I've got my C major chord. I'm going to do that again here, but this time I'm going to use my shortcut key, so that's the S key. And I'll just break these up. 
you can actually do it from over there. I'm just having to be doing it down in the MIDI, MIDI editor. So now I've got all of these broken up. The useful thing now to do would be to label them. So we've got the first one was our um, one chord and that was our C major chord. Our second chord was our two chord, so that's minor. Let's try that again, minor. And that was our D minor. Our third chord was also minor. And that was our E minor. Our fourth chord was major. So to do Roman numerals major, we do the one before five. And that was the F major. Our five chord was also major. And that was the G major. The sixth chord was minor. So that's one after five. And that was the A minor. The seven chord was the diminished chords. So that's seven diminished. Let's put that little symbol in there. And that was the B diminished. And then we finished with our one chord again. C major just happens to be the octave higher version of that one. Um, to put that little circle diminished, I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see that a bit easier. Okay, so I've got the 7 diminished. To get that one in, um, I used on my Mac the Option Shift um, 8. It might be Alt uh, Shift 8 on your Windows machines and you can do that little circle symbol there for the diminished. Okay, let's zoom back out. So now we've got our chord progression. And here's where we can have some fun to create um, create some chord progression from these. So let's first hear what these chords sound like again. Okay, so each chord has their own characteristic. You can definitely hear the, the major sound, the minor sound, and that diminished chord stood out just before the last chord there. Okay, so um, let's, oh, first, let's, before we do some chord progressions, let's quickly show you how to do this um, with a MIDI controller, because that took me quite a while to click in every one of those notes. So let's add a new track. Um, we'll mute that track. But this time, I'm going to play these in using my actual keyboard diagram. So let's bring up the instrument. Okay, so let's play these in. So I've got my metronome set to um, 100 beats per minute. Um, I've got a one bar count in. So this is really useful when recording um, using a real instrument. So let's give this a go. Okay, so now we can go into the MIDI editor and first of all, let's delete those little notes that I, I missed my space bar. Okay, so over here we've got our select tool, we've got our pencil tool. And they're the ones that I'm using at the moment. So I've played these in. Now, as you can see, not all of these notes line up perfectly. So what I want to do is click in here, select um, Command A, and then I've got that all selected. Now we're going to look at quantizing this. So because these are semi-breves, I'm just going to quantize that straight to the beat. And to fill it out so it goes for the full beat, I'm going to select legato. And that's filled that right out. The only note I have to fix up is the last bar. And I'm going to bring that, oops, I've got them all selected. 
Let's just select the last ones. Bring them in. There we go. So now I've got that all played and I can really quickly split it up. Okay, I could label it and I very, very quickly created that chord progression. Okay, while I am still here, if I have that select all again, so Command A or um, the equivalent on the Windows machine, we can actually transpose this. So at the moment, I've got all my chords in the key of C. If I go plus one, that shifts everything up to C sharp. If I go plus again, that takes it all up into the key of D major. Okay, so this would be really useful. You could create your chord progressions very quickly in any key. Okay, let's mute that one for the time being. Unmute that one. So here, working back with our original track that I've already labeled, um, let's create some chord progressions. So I'm going to create a new track. Okay, so I've got my new track here that I'm going to be putting my chord progressions on. I'm going to start off with grabbing and copying. So Command or Control C and pasting that in. So this is going to paste wherever the cursor happens to be. So be careful with that one. So I'm going to make sure that's right on beat one. Paste that in and I've got my one chord. Then I'm going to do a four chord. So I select that one, copy, paste my five chord, copy, paste, and I'm going to go back to my one chord, copy, paste. So now I've just done a very standard chord progression, a one, four, five, one chord progression. Let's solo that and have a listen. Okay, you'll probably recognize the sound of that. It's very similar to a lot of songs there. Okay, what happens if I wanted another chord progression? Um, let's put another one in after that one. Let's go a, put a bit of space. Let's try and see what two copy, oops, undo, you've got to select the track that you're pasting it in, so two, four, let's go to the five, and then I'll go back to the one chord again. There we go. So let's hear what the two, four, five, one sounded like. Okay, so I've just created two very similar chord progressions, just slightly different. Um, if we go back into the MIDI editor, so we did these as long semi briefs. Okay, so this will be the last thing I talk about. If I go back and just zoom in again, right back to the beginning. So this is back on my first chord here. If I change this, so that was a full semi brief. If I take that back to here, so that's a quarter of my bar. And if you know about the mathematical terms, a quarter of a bar would be our crotchet or quarter note. Take that one back as well. Okay, so now I've got my chord going for one crotchet beat. If I then put that in again. Wrong note, good old arrows keys. So now I've got four crotchets happening on that first beat. Let's have a listen to that first one again. And then it'll go to the semi-brief on the next one. Okay, so you can create your different rhythms. If I wanted to delete some of these. So I'll have two crotchets, a crotchet rest, and then another crotchet. Okay, so you can create your chord progressions rhythmically as you see fit for your particular songs. 
um, just recapping, we've looked at putting in all the different sorts of chords. Your task, I guess, now is have a go, make up some different chord progressions. Um, try out the one I've done with a 1 4 5 1 chord progression. See what other ones you can do. Uh, what would it sound like if you had the diminished chord in there or the minor chords in there um, for your chord progressions? So, hopefully. Um, you've been able to learn a few more techniques to do with composition and creating a chord progression uh, within a major key. Um, hopefully it's giving you some ideas of what you can do to create your own songs and some other features of the program that you can use to create your other songs. Um, don't forget about connecting up a, a MIDI controller keyboard. That will make your life a lot quicker with doing some of these things. And also keep exploring the quantize and transpose feature. I should add, don't forget to comment below and also think about um, subscribing so that you can know about any future videos.